So you need to remove one page or multiple pages from a PDF document using your Mac for free. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, obviously just check out my backlog. I have a couple hundred different videos. One of them I did recently was how to combine PDF files. So if you have multiple PDF files, how to combine them for free on a Mac, so check that one out. But I had a problem the other day. It seems like it would be really easy to fix, but it wasn't. So if you have a PDF file and you wanna either remove like the middle page or the end page of the PDF file, what is the easiest way to do that on a Mac, an Apple Mac for free? So what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna go ahead and show you the easiest way to go ahead and delete either a single page or multiple pages and then resave the document without using any paid for software like Adobe or anything like that and how quick, you know, you can do it in two seconds. Um, I always promise my videos are gonna be short and they never are, I, I apologize about that. So hopefully this one will be. I'm gonna share my screen behind me, I'm gonna go through and show you the simple process of just deleting a PDF page from a PDF document Check out my other stuff for other videos and stuff on Apple all around. You know, I do tons of Apple videos. Let's get into this one though. I promise it'll be quick and then I'll catch you on the other side. All right, so this one's gonna be fairly fast and easy. So let's say you have a PDF file. This one's called firewall.pdf, it's right here. And if I double click on it, what it's gonna do is if you double click on a PDF file, you can see it opens it up and it opens it up in preview, right? So that's kind of what you want is you want it in preview. That's the first step. Now in here you can see this is a very, uh, <laughs> this is about configuring a simple firewall. I got this from Cisco just as an example. Some really boring stuff in here. But let's just assume this last page here, see it here, you don't want that in there because it's blank. So you only want these top pages in here. Well, how, what's the easiest way to delete this? You can do it a couple different ways, but let's go ahead and show you. All you have to do really is, you know, make sure you're in preview. Go up to view right here, see view. And, uh, and then make sure, you know, obviously you can make sure thumbnails is selected, but that's not really what you wanna do. You wanna go to this contact sheet. See it right there, contact sheet. So go ahead and click on that. What it's gonna do is it's gonna open this up. Now see this, it's gonna have all the pages listed like little boxes here. All you have to do is you have to click on the last box like that, make sure you've selected it so it's highlighted, and then click delete on your keyboard, delete. See that? Now I can just close this. I don't have to do nothing else, just close this, all right? Now, look at this. Now, if I go over here, here's firewall. Let me go ahead and reopen this up by double-clicking on it. If I scroll down, that page is gone. It's gone for good. It's nowhere to be seen. So again, you can do this with anything. Just make sure that it, you know, and if you do delete it, it deletes any annotations or anything associated with that page. It just completely deletes that page. So just keep in mind, again, you know, you, it doesn't have to be the last page. So if you double-click on something, a PDF file, and you want a number of pages gone, all you have to do again is just go to view, then go to contact sheet right there, and then it's gonna automatically select the first one, but you want, let's say you want these, everything else except for the very first page, you can hold on the shift key, select all four of them by holding on the shift key, click delete on the keyboard, close it, and now we got the PDF with one page. So that's all there is to it, hopefully that's easy enough, I promise this is fast, hopefully fast enough, all right, but wait, there's one more way to do this. I figured I'll just show you really quickly. It's gonna take two seconds, so watch this second way. All right, and the second method, I just wanna show people, because they're gonna tell me that there's this method that you can do it, it's easier and stuff, but there's a couple reasons I don't like it, but I'm just gonna show it to you anyway. So go ahead and double click on that again, and there's another way to do this. See this sidebar over here? The reason I don't like this method is if you go up to view, you can actually hide the sidebar, see that? So if this is hidden, people may not see those pages over there, and then they get all confused. So if you go to view and then you click on thumbnails, they'll come back, see that? So, and another reason I don't like this is if you have a really long document, you have to scroll all the way down. The other method I showed you before has them all kind of listed so you can kind of see them a little bit easier um, all at once on one page versus having to scroll. But either way, you can just, is if you have the sidebar here, and the other method of deleting them is just go ahead and select the page like I showed you before. I'm selecting the last page, see it down here. Go up to edit and then click delete and you saw it deleted that off the sidebar. And now I can go ahead and just close this. And again, if I open up this document again, you can see here that last page is gone. So that method works too, but you have to worry about having this sidebar and everything. You know, this has to be active and just make sure you turn that on. All right, welcome back. So what do you think? Super easy, huh? I promised you it would be easy. 
There's a million different ways to do things and you can post them in the comments, other ways to do this. I'm sure there's 10 different other ways, but I found this to be maybe the easiest without actually spending any money. It takes just, just a couple really quick steps and you're done. So let me know what you think in the comments. Also subscribe if you can to my channel. Again, I have hundreds of videos on a lot of Apple stuff, um, all the technology, gadgets, you name it, some PC stuff, Chromebooks, but mostly Apple. Subscribe if you can, help the channel grow. I have, you know, I'm getting up to around 5,000 subscribers. It's gonna help me continue to make videos like this. So, and also post comments. Let me know what you guys think about the videos and if there's other ways to do it, post them because it helps people out when they watch it. Um, again, hopefully this was short enough this time. Probably not, but at the end of the day, you know my, my sign off is always the same. Talk to you soon. Peace.